I never thought I would even be back. Um, you know, uh, I signed a, uh, you know, a six-year deal with, with Tampa. Um, you know, figured, uh, you know, even with no guarantee that I would be, be down there for at least two or three years. Out of everything that he's ever done in his career, he wanted to be in New York. No matter what team he played for, that's where his heart lay, you know? Yeah, I think he just kind of fell in love when he came here. I mean, we, we kind of forget how young he was when he first came to the Jets. You know, he was a 21-year-old rookie, and I think it just always felt like home to him. I got drafted here um, in 07, and they gave me a chance. I mean, um, there was a lot of teams in, in 07 draft that told me if I was on the board um, that they would pick me up. <laughs> and, um, you know, they just jumped up uh, 10 slots, you know, to come get me. And, um, even in upper management, I mean, that's a huge move to make uh, coming from 24 to 14. So um, I, I just felt that, uh, you know, they believed in me and believed uh, uh, what, what I can bring to the table. You know, New York is going to be New York. And when Darrell came here, he was so young. And the city kind of grew on him, you know, and the people and the fans. Even though I was on other teams, I would run into uh, New York Jet fans all across the nation. and. Um, uh, just the love and support that, that our uh, fans have for us is, is uh, awesome. You know, I, I take those type of things, uh, you know, to heart and, and, and um, because of the memories I had. I mean, we had some great years. We went to two FC Championship games, and um, our fans were going crazy then. <laughs> and, um, you know, we were almost there. He always wanted to be a Jet for life. There was a part of him that thought that, that that's how his career would unfold. I think this is his dream, you know, from the beginning. The Jets drafted him, and this is where he wanted to be, and this is where he'll finish the game, period. Okay, it goes. If you look at everything and how my career was going, I um, never thought I would be back in New York and never thought I'd be presented to, you know, the SI cover. He told me at times that he, you know, he had thought or worried he would never come back, never be full strength, and now here he is, back at full strength, the Super Bowl champion, back home, coming in for the Sports Illustrated photo shoot. I've covered Darrell since he was a rookie. Uh, we were both in Hempstead every day, you know, and when, when he came back to the Jets, I said to my editors, it would be perfect to do a cover piece on him, to write about how his career has gone, to write about him coming back to New York. The idea originally was we were going to do a Darrell Riva story, which is simple enough, and I came up with the idea of reproducing the Joe Namath cover. It's a very famous cover, the most famous Jet of all time. Take these cool pictures in honor of Joe Namath. What's special about being here in Times Square right now is that the magazine was doing this thing kind of as an homage to a photograph they did in the 60s of Joe Namath standing right here in the same spot. What was that, 50 years ago, right? 50 years ago, it's hard to believe. It takes a certain player that'll have kind of the, the guts to kind of recreate a Joe Namath cover, and Darrell said yes, so that's how it came about. Oh, I'm honored to do this. My dad was like, he's so He's yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm glad he yeah. signed off on it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, 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 of course. He was I didn't want to hear otherwise. Uh, uh, no, he thinks it's great. Yeah. Well, I think for me, it's knowing where my dad was coming from and the age that he was at. He'd been in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, and then he went to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and then he was, he found himself, you know, fresh out of the hospital in Times Square, New York City, which was the biggest place he'd ever been or seen in his entire life. So for me to look at it and to imagine what it was like for him is, you know, it's very cool. So at the time, it was just a cover, but Broadway Joe, the lights, New York City, the whole kind of thing, it just became an image that kind of had its own life afterwards. It was really great. This is a side of my dad that I didn't get to see. I don't know this Joe. You know, he was retired and I was born long after all of this fun stuff had happened. So I've really gotten to know him through the photographs. I just called him, I was FaceTiming him and I showed him everything. I'm like, was this what it was like when you were doing it? And he was like, exactly the same. <laughs> you've got Darrell, you've got Times Square, Manhattan. It's a pretty exciting moment in his life, so it's really cool. It's, and his energy is there, you can feel it. I think it's going to look really cool. I do. I'm looking forward to seeing it.